Where do I need to improve the most as an employee? Attention to detail could use a little bit of improvement. Putting someone in the wrong casket probably would be an example of something you don't want to have happen. Hello. Hey. Hello. Uh, I am Brandon. Jesse. I'm Suzette. I'm Rowan. What's the relationship? We've been working together for a couple years now, but right now she's my boss. Are you two really tight? Yeah, we got close from work. We used to not be tight though. She was close with a girl who like bullied me. <gasps> and so we had like this workplace drama, but once this other girl left the company, we just like, we got so tight. What do you two do? I'm a licensed funeral director. As am I, licensed funeral director, funeral home manager. We sell pot. I'm the co-founder of a touring roast show and content creation company. And I'm a producer at this company. Do we start with a shot? Yeah, don't look at me. Okay, yeah, okay. let's do it. Cheers, man. <laughs> Kids these days. Have you ever stolen from work? Uh, <laughs> have I ever? Multiple times. What's the biggest thing you've ever stolen? I got hired seasonally at um, a clothing store. And so we had a box of beanies just like under the like clock in sheet. So I took like a beanie a day. Have you ever stolen from work? Not from our current job. What about our last job? There were some plant stands. <laughs> <laughs> I took some flower stands uh, that are now plant stands. Uh, I don't really know what I would are you steal. Kidding? There's from... so much to steal. Yeah, but there's I... like tech, like really expensive equipment just l littering the floor. Yeah, but we work with Lee who would notice it 10 seconds after it's gone. I'm not gone. suggesting you do it. I'm not planning on doing it. Are you it. thinking about it? Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever hooked up with a coworker before? No, that is one of the things that I've always been really stern about. I'll flirt. I love like having a work boyfriend. Have you ever hooked up with a coworker before? Yes, at uh, You have? Yes, at a previous company I have hooked up with a coworker. Uh-huh. Was it fun and good? It started off fun and good and then got weird and bad very quickly. <laughs> Do you think it's okay for coworkers to hook up? The answer is no. No. <laughs> Why did you hesitate? Giving our uh, past workplace. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> that was real bad. <laughs> we had four coworkers get fired for um, intermingling. Well, and then how long later did our mutual manager get fired for the same thing? I feel like any funeral industry is pretty incestuous like that. Yes. Oh, you're drinking. Rank your employees from best to worst. I'm drinking. They're all number one in my heart, so. That's the correct answer. There you go. Yeah. Take a shot. <laughs> Where do I rank in that? Um. <laughs> the fact that it wasn't just one. Well, no, because I got to be careful, you know? I can't, like, oh. play favorites with you. Yeah. I can't be like, my bestie is number one. Yeah. No, like, I, Cheers. Ding. <laughs> Name my worst qualities as a boss. You're disorganized at times. Okay. <laughs> it's very stressful for me. My anxiety spikes when it's like, uh, yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, our train's leaving in two minutes and one of them's not And here. one of them's meditating, one's going on a half mile <laughs> yeah. jog to clear his head. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the closest you've come to firing me? The closest would be probably one of the forklift incidents. The last one? The door one was the most annoying, yes. We, we've all run the forklift into something a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I, I thought I was being clever by trying to close a very large door with one of the forks, and I drove through the door. A very large, expensive door, yes. Customly made, yes. Yeah. Hi, my name is Randy. I'm one of the producers here at Cut. I think anybody should get this game. This game has over 400 questions. How much do you truly want to know? And how much do you dare to reveal? I just read the back of the box. Honestly, I'm not that creative with my lines. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of this episode of Truth or Drink. Take a shot if you've ever talked shit about me with another employee. <laughs> Take a shot. You not still okay. Have. Not okay. I'll I'll do it, but like I don't. I wouldn't say it's talking shit. Everyone, I know you would talk about. I know you have negative things to say about no, me. No, I don't. Well, you're my boss. Everyone has negative things to say about their boss. What did you say? Take a shot. <laughs> Take a shot if you've ever talked shit about me with another employee. Come on, man. Yeah, well. What'd you say? Oh, actually? Yeah? I, I, I don't like how excited you I got. I do what is remember. <laughs> the very first show I worked, I was like, wow, 
these guys seem really annoying. Because you came in and you were trying to do sound check. You were like, can we just be done with this? I need to go right. And I was like, sound check is important, man. Like, you, right. you got a sound check. But I didn't understand the time crunch you guys were under to write these jokes. So I did actually, later that night, take it back. Where do I need to improve the most as an employee? Attention to detail could use a little bit of improvement. Putting someone in the wrong casket probably would be an example of something you don't want to have happen. And then I run to you and ask, can you help me tell this family I put their loved one in the wrong <laughs> casket? In your defense, it was like purple versus lilac right next to each other. Yes. Do you think we would be friends outside of work? Why or why not? Yeah, I mean, obviously, but it took you being with friends with a bullier to be friends. Oh my god, why are friends. we still <laughs> Yeah, we've grown together. But like, now if you saw if you last. saw me on the street, you'd be like, "Yeah, I would not hit you up, no." Oh. Just because like you are like very much all American girl next door, what? and I'm like a little more alternative. So like, given not knowing each other, seeing each other, probably not. Okay, on the count of three, we'll each name our least favorite employee. One, two, three. I'm gonna drink, drink on it. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're gonna do this one. What? Okay, on the count. <laughs> <laughs> On the count of three, we'll each name our least favorite employee. Okay. One, <laughs> two, three. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh. I might need to take a shot for that one because you guys are all co-owners of this company. I can't. Yeah, man. You have an easy out though. You can say me. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brandon. <laughs> Could I also have said maybe like one, two, three, Brandon? <laughs> Finally, we agree on something, man. That's on, great. Honestly, that probably would be true. I would say myself. What? The self-deprecation. Do you think you'll quit this job or be fired? I am like a young millennial, early Gen Zer, so if a job doesn't work out, I'm out. But I love this job, so I want I, it to work out. I believe this is also the longest you've been at one job this for, is, is that correct? This is the longest I've ever been at a job. <laughs> a year yes. and a half, yes. Yes. My favorite thing to think about is if I could just run away and not have to worry about anything <clears throat> ever again. Honestly, that attitude is a good influence on my previous work outlook of work myself to death, sacrifice my personal life and mental health and physical health yeah. just to make a little extra buck or whatever. Between the two of us, who needs therapy more? Uh, me! <laughs> <laughs> I guess I would need to see inside your brain. I think I'm the way more fucked up one though. Okay. <laughs> As the one who is the working comedian, I'm gonna say you. Yeah. I went to two therapists and they didn't want me, so I have to go find another one. <laughs> Have you ever lied to get out of work? No. Yeah, that's not true. <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh outed. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I went to a job interview and I said that I had an appointment. I'm not offended, who hasn't done that? Have you ever lied to get out of work? All the time. Okay. Have you lied like to me about getting out of work? Mm. I probably said that I was sick and I was hungover. I think I called you out well one time. I think I was like. Every Monday for me, and I'm like And this is why you have over. me, because I'm like, hey, you're okay. <laughs> you can come in. Don't fire me. <laughs> Anytime people see us interacting together, we, we call ourselves scissor sisters. We're not like this. We're like this. <laughs> so you guys are having sex? No, no. we're not. <laughs> we're not, we haven't, but we, we're, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we're,